Hi, Michelle. Tony. I thought I would just send you a quick video. Here we go. I use the standard for my normal uh, smoke tech dual coil cardamizers. Um, we have an ego twist here. Here is one of the tanks. Uh, bottom end cap is on there. The top is not. I can just throw that on. I wanted you to see. These are nice low profile caps. Kind of hard to zoom in there. Uh, they are made in Salt Lake City. Food grade. Let's push that on. I like to make sure it's flush there. I've had absolutely no leakage issues unless I've left it in my car at the you know, 100 degree temperature outside. set this down here if you don't mind. So as you can see it's just the standard smoke tech. So I'm going to go ahead instead of opening this one I'm just going to go ahead and screw this off this using it. You can see it's the center hole that holds the coil, the rest is wick approximately from here down. The holes to allow the fluid, pretty standard. They have different sized holes, so I've seen many versions of this. <clears throat> you must prime these. I usually put about 15 to 20 drops inside of this and try not to get it down that center hole. Once I've got 15 or 20 drops inside of here, I go ahead and insert either end, it does not matter. I push it up approximately 75 to 80%. Once I have it there, then I take my bottle. Let me see if I have one here. I do not. But anyways, I take my bottle and I just insert my fluid through the hole till it fills up. I kind of try and just get as much in there as possible once I have it in there. Shove my cardamizer all the way through. It's completely sealed. At which point I take whichever unit I want to stick this on. I'll use this Ego Twist. I will throw a collar on here. collar is on just for aesthetics. I can then screw my tank on, drip tip right inside the top of the cartomizer. That is my completed unit. I don't want to just drag right off it. I want to do a couple dry runs and pull some of that fluid up through the bottom of the cartomizer. I'd even like to let it sit for about a half an hour afterwards to ensure that the entire cartomizer in there is is really saturated with the fluid. So, uh, I mean, it's a little bit of a, a, a hassle to get it up and running. But once we're up and running, we have, you know, six, seven, eight, nine milliliters worth of juice. When it comes time to refill, it's such an easy process. Pull off the drip tip, slide the tank up a little bit, fill, push the tank back down on top, stick your drip tip in, voila, you're good to go. I do hope that helps. And you have a wonderful day.